Someone say tea break. See you in a minute. So we've got some uh, girly stuff now on the shed. More manly stuff to go inside later. But it's Friday the day, uh, getting on a bit now. So I've been up here for a few hours. Here's Kim on my chair. Hello. So what I've done here, what I've done here, if she moves, there she goes. Moved her poor lass. Uh, so using a lot of my scrap wood that I've had left over from building the shed and a couple of bits I've got left from home, but I may change these later. So this is gonna be the uh, toilet come cool storage. These will obviously be on a hinge and lift up. I've built it away a bit from the the back wall because we're going to have a backrest in an angle so like so and, sit over there like that. and then I'll get some foam or some sponge and uh, make a nice seat cushion and a nice backrest and uh, use my sewing machine and make a lovely cover so that be for a, another video but that's the shed for now uh, apart from this we're gonna lower this we're gonna lower this below the height of the window so it's probably gonna be a bit bit down here it's just so that we've noticed that we can have the window open when we've got the kettle going because obviously if it's up here on a windy day so we have this as a sort of like a, a little windbreak so it'd be down here but the other shelf will be at that height right along anyway and then obviously this bit would just be a tiny little bit here for the for the cooker uh, but let's have a show you around the let's have a show you around the uh, the allotment and as you can see the tomatoes have really come on now uh, big balls at the back is as high as the stakes now um so he's what a good five foot now uh same as the others really grown we've got some lovely tomatoes and you notice we had a tomato plant that was here we moved that one yesterday um simply because of the fact it just wasn't producing any fruit so i thought oh, okay it's, it's just let's just get it out and we'll, we'll put it outside and um see what that does and i'll show you him in a minute well, this is the cucumber plant anyway and um, which gives him a little bit more room now and um, he's producing cucumbers now so we've got one there and quite a few others growing uh, we've had another one off this um, hybrid plant this one here uh, and since taking that one we've got another one here so I'll pick that one. The way we've been picking them is we've just been twisting them. We've not knifed or cut them because obviously we're thinking that obviously twisting them it uh, less chance of causing infection. And sort of twist it up. I've seen it on some other videos that uh, people have done. So I thought we'd give that a go. So that is not a bad cucumber. And we took another one off that, the the, uh, the big curly one we had. He sort of straightened out a bit, but um, he was as big as that that we took off two days ago. So this, this one here is just throwing the cucumbers out. Uh, and he is, uh, what is he? He's a grafted cucumber. That's what he is. Um... Grafted for increased yield, and I can certainly tell you, <laughs> we 
were getting a cucumber off him every sort of three to four days. And uh, yeah, they're lovely. Whereas this one here, which has been in about the same time, um, is only just starting to produce now, which is what showed you that one there. So I uh, have that in some sandwiches tonight. Well, we've got to finish off the other one, but we'll definitely have some of that later on. Uh, onions, 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 onions. I don't know what's going on with me onions. Um, I think we uh, put ours in a little bit later than everyone else anyway, but everyone else is a massive round on the, the allotment. So um, I don't know, they're, they're starting to fill out. I'll, uh, I'll probably have a look back over my videos to see, because that's the only way you can tell. So, I mean, they've popped up now. Um, I think they're Brussels. I think the peas, we've harvested all the peas. Uh, looking a little bit worse for wear this end anyway. You sort of see there, sort of yellowing. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. So we might, might get a few more. Like I said, we've got, a, got some more flowers and some more coming out. My little seed box that I made is coming up. So we've got some uh, carrots, radishes and some more lettuce in there. So that's coming on nice. Uh, we noticed this the other day. Uh, we've got a mysterious runner bean plant growing. Now we didn't put that in. So that's got to obviously be a, 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 a drop seed from, from last year. Which is bizarre, because like I say, it's definitely last. I mean, we took the plot over. I mean, we put um, broad beans here. Although we should have should have put runners, but we thought, well, we'd get the broad beans in, that they're out the way up here, and it's just easy to um, tie them off. But we go to the plant, say, another squirting of the um, uh, rapeseed oil, which has got rid of all the, uh, the bugs again. This is what we've been using. Which is, uh, which is that, which we got for well, I don't think about £1.69 from Audi. Uh, so consider that you, you'll go to a garden shop and pay nearly £5 for the same sort of stuff. We've had to water it down a bit and um, that's what we've been using. Just give it a shake and it does the job keeps them uh, dreaded black fly or aphids away. Kills them off. So, what we got here? Kim, what are these? Sprouts. They're sprouts again. Oh, we've got everything going everywhere. I did notice that um, it's nothing, nothing to do with me. Obviously we've got the beetroot, 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 what's that? Beetroot, beetroot. <laughs> it's our first year. These sprouts, I definitely know these are sprouts, so they're coming on lovely. Picked a load of, we've had loads of broad beans off of these and we'll keep going, we'll see, we'll see if we get any more coming out. A couple more to be picked up. Doesn't seem to be any more flower. Oh, we've got some flowers there. Got a flower. So we may we may still get get some more cucumbers. Which are doing well. I've had another one, which is this one here, which is a um, crystal lemon. Uh, so we see how that goes. So <laughs> cucumbers and tomatoes. We're gonna have lots of. And there's that tomato plant. As you see, it's just not flowered at all. Um, I don't know whether it was anything to do with whether he was, um, remember I showed you he'd um, nearly snapped in half. So uh, I thought, well, uh, 
Let's get him outside. See what he does outside. The steed's still being good. Keeping the deer away. Celery. Coming on. Um, Kim, what are these? What, love? These behind you. Um, are spring onions. Spring onions. Kim's just been doing a little weeding in her little plot with her uh, courgettes. Got a nice one. Come on up there. Broccoli. Broccoli. Hmm. Not done really well on broccoli. I mean, he looks. I mean, he's going to flower. Ugh. Dear, oh dear. I may just pull him out. Give broccoli as a, a loss this year. Parsnips. And the the beans. The um the runner beans. So, <laughs> so they decided not to grow. These are the dwarfs. Um I thought they'd have got a little bit bigger than that. I know they said they're dwarf, but that is tiny. Some are. Some are coming up. These ones we've just nipped the tips off now to stop them growing too high. That's about it, it for them now. So they're all flowering, looking lovely. Looking beautiful. And then we come here for the collies. We notice that we got, as I said to you earlier on, we, we, we've lost a lot of collies and we were left with these four. Uh, these two are coming on nice, but this one, uh, I might just pull him. And that one there doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. But the Swedes are coming on. Uh, I had planned today to put the bigger net on. I've got got the, got the netting ready, but that would be a job for tomorrow now. And I'll probably make a big, a big hoop for this whole side now. One big hoop. And uh, just cover it with netting because everything's just really coming on down this end now. And same with the uh, the cabbages. We've uh, dug up this centre potatoes, uh, sort of yellowing off. I don't know that's it's probably because we've not watered them that much. I'll, I'll give these lot a good old water in tonight. Um, we sort of lot left them to fend for themselves a bit. So, uh, you know, I thought, well, I won't water them. We'll see how we go. And uh, I think I think that's me downfall. Probably should have been at least watering them once a week. Uh, here we've got some lovely potatoes out. We've got loads. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. We're still eating them now. And same with this patch as well. So, hmm. All in all, it's been good. It's coming on. Got some more raspberries coming up this side. Lots of beautiful flowers. Just went for the blackberries here, and we've got some raspberries here. Look at these. Lovely. Loads back there. Have to um, pull all the stinging nettles out of the way so we can get them. And all our blackberries that'll be here, which will be the wife's going to decide to make jam for the first time in her life, so that'll be a good video end up a disaster probably end up making jelly jelly jam pears all coming on obviously we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of sort of black infection on the on the on the tree we've been cutting it back any of the branches we've just been cutting it back to try and stop it spreading But we seem to be just chasing our tails in a minute with that. And the apples are looking lovely as well. We're going to have a lot of apples. They're still in flower as well. So. And it's a. A dull day. 
this temperature's just right. Lovely. No shorts today though. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on and water and then we're going to head off home where I'm going to have some more of my potatoes and uh, some of our cucumber. So, until the next video, see you later.